Cross text questions, the text one and text two questions are some of the hardest and most annoying questions on the SAT reading section, but with the right strategy, they can actually become some of the easiest. Hi, I'm Mohamed, and I help students improve their SAT reading and writing scores through our step-by-step -step programs. Let me show you how we solve these questions using the GAPS method. The G in GAP stands for Get Asked. As you read, imagine a stranger asking you, what does the text want you to understand? This is exactly how you should read, always thinking about what the writer wants you to understand. Let me show you what I mean with this easy example. Based on the text, both authors would most likely agree with which statement. All right, so let's understand what each statement is trying to tell us and then ask ourselves, what does the text want us to understand? Let me zoom in on text one. Text one. Some animal species, like the leopard, can be found in many kinds of areas. On the other hand, tropical mountain bird species tend to be limited in the types of spaces they can call home. This is because many mountain bird species are only able to survive at very specific elevations. Over time, these species have likely become used to living at a specific temperature. Therefore, these species struggle to survive at elevations that are warmer or colder than they're used to. Text 1 wants us to understand that the tropical mountain birds can't live outside certain elevations or heights because of temperature. Text 2. A new study reviewed observations of nearly 3,000 bird species to understand why tropical mountain bird species live at specific elevations. They noted that when a mountain bird species was found in an area with many other bird species, it tended to inhabit much smaller geographic areas. It is thus likely that the competition for resources with other species, not temperature, limits where these birds can live. Text 2 wants us to understand that these birds live in specific areas, not because of temperature, but because of competition with other birds. Now, let's move on to the second step in gaps. A. Assess both sides. So, be careful. The question is asking us for the thing that both authors agree on. They both disagree on why. One says because of temperature, the other says because of competition, but they both agree on one thing, that the birds are limited in where they can live. Moving on to the third letter in gaps, P, predict. We need to predict what the authors would say. They would both agree with something like, yeah, tropical mountain birds can't live just anywhere. They're restricted in range. Here's the last step in gaps, S, select. We need to select the answer that matches our prediction. Choice A. Tropical mountain bird species are restricted in where they can live. Yes, this matches our prediction. But let's see the next choices though. Choice B. Scientists have better tools to observe tropical mountain birds than they did in the past. This is not discussed in either passage, so we'll eliminate this choice. Choice C. Little is known about how tropical mountain birds build their nests. Again, not in either text, so you'll cancel this choice. Choice D. Tropical mountain bird species that live at high elevations tend to be genetically similar, also not mentioned, so we will eliminate this choice as well, which means that the correct answer is choice A. Now, this next question seems similar, but it's harder, therefore we need to simplify each line as you read it. But before we solve the question, you can join our free community where we have lots of practice resources, strategies, and also daily classes. If you're looking for a more personalized help and you're willing to invest a little bit of money into your future, book a call with the link in the description. Question 2. The question says, based on the text, how would the author of text 2 most likely respond to the claims of the author of text 1? Let's walk through it with gaps. G. Get asked. Ask yourself, what does each sentence want you to understand? Digital art, the use of digital technology to create or display images, isn't really art at all. The text wants us to understand that the author believes digital art is not actually real art. Then it says, it doesn't require as much skill as creating physical art. Painting with a tablet and a stylus is much easier than using paint and a brush. The technology is doing most of the work. It wants us to understand that the author thinks a tablet and stylus is much easier than using paint and a brush since the technology is doing most of the work. Now text 2. The painting programs used to create digital art involve more than just pressing a few buttons. So this wants us to understand that digital art is not that easy. It is not just simple button clicking. Digital artists need to be familiar with sophisticated software. So this says that digital artists need to know how to use these complex software and art fundamentals. Then it says, 
Many artists will start by drawing on paper before transforming the piece to the digital format, where they can apply a variety of color and techniques that would otherwise require many different traditional tools. It wants us to understand that digital artists often start with traditional skills or tools and build on them digitally. Now, let's move on to the next step. A. Assess both sides or compare both sides. Text one says, a tablet and stylus is much easier than using paint and a brush since the technology is doing most of the work. Text two says, digital artists need to know how to use these complex software and art fundamentals. Let's now move on to the third step. P. Predict. What would text two's authors say back to text one? It would probably be something like, actually, digital art does require talent and effort. It's not just the tech doing the work. Lastly, we will move on to S. Select. Let's go through the choices. Choice A says, by arguing that a piece of art created digitally can still be displayed traditionally. This is unrelated. The way the art is displayed is not the focus, so we'll eliminate this choice. Choice B, by explaining that it's actually much harder to use a tablet and stylus to create art than to use a paint and a brush. This is too extreme. Text 2 never says it is harder than paint and a brush. It just says that it still requires skill. So this choice is wrong. Choice C. By insisting that digital art requires artistic abilities and skill even if it employs less traditional tools. This perfectly matches our predictions, so this might be the correct choice, but let's see the other choices. Choice D. By admitting that most digital artists don't think fundamental drawing skills are important. No way. This choice is incorrect. Text 2 says the opposite. They use fundamentals. We will eliminate this choice. So the correct answer is choice C. Now the next question is much much harder than the previous one and this is pretty much as difficult as these questions get. So pause the video and try to solve it on your own. Based on the text, how would Chris Brayley from text to most likely respond to the discussion in text one? Let's go through with it using gaps one last time. Again, as we read each sentence, we need to ask ourselves what does the text want us to understand? Africa's Sahara region, once a lush ecosystem, began to dry out about 8,000 years ago. The text wanted us to understand that Africa's Sahara region dried out 8,000 years ago. Next line. A change in Earth's orbit that affected climate has been posited as a cause of desertification. So the text wanted us to understand that changes in Earth's orbit have been suggested as a cause. Next line. But archaeologist David Wright also attributes the shift to Neolithic peoples. So an archaeologist also blames or attributes the shift to Neolithic people. He cites their adoption of pastoralism as a factor in the region drying out. The pastoralist livestock depleted vegetation, prompting the events that created the Sahara Desert. So the text wanted us to understand that the Neolithic people's use of pastoralism dried out the area. Now, let's move on to text 2. Research by Chris Braley et al. challenges the idea that Neolithic peoples contributed to the Sahara's desertification. What did the text want us to understand? It wanted us to understand that the researcher, Chris Braley, rejects David Wright's theory, the guy from text 1. Using a climate vegetation model, the team concluded that the end of the region's humid period occurred 500 years earlier than previously assumed. This wanted us to understand that new research showed that the Sahara region dried out 500 years earlier than originally thought. The timing suggests that Neolithic peoples didn't exacerbate aridity in the region, but in fact may have helped delay environmental changes with practices like selective grazing that preserved vegetation. So the Neolithic people didn't worsen the conditions. They delayed the environmental changes by some practices like environmental grazing. Now we will move on to the second letter in the GAPS method. A. Assess. Assess both sides, which means we will be comparing text 1 to text 2 to find the two points that are contrasting. Let me show you what I mean. In text 1 we said, that the Neolithic people's use of pastoralism dried out the area, while in text 2 we said that the Neolithic people did not worsen the conditions, they just delayed the environmental changes. Now we can move on to the third letter in the GAPS method, P, predict, because you'll be predicting the answer. The person in text 2 would tell the person in text 1 that the Neolithic people did not cause the Sahara region to dry out. Now let's move on to the fourth and final letter, S, select. Choice A by pointing out that given the revised timeline for the end of the Sahara's humid period, the Neolithic people's mode of substance likely didn't cause the region's desertification. Yeah, I guess this could be correct because it's saying that Neolithic people did not cause the Sahara region to dry out. Choice B. 
by claiming that pastoralism was only one of the many behaviors that Neolithic peoples took part in that may have contributed to the Sahara's changing climate. This choice says that the Neolithic peoples caused the Sahara region to dry out, which is the exact opposite of our prediction, which says that the Neolithic peoples did not cause the Sahara region to dry out, so this is wrong. Choice C. By insisting that pastoralism can have both beneficial and deleterious effects on a region's vegetation and climate. This is completely off topic and does not matter answer prediction. Choice D. By asserting that more research needs to be conducted into factors that likely contributed to the desertification of the Sahara region. This is wrong because they did this is wrong because they don't need to do more research. The answer should state that the Neolithic people did not cause the Sahara region to dry out. If you think you need more practice with these questions and other SAT English questions, you can join our free community to boost your SAT English score through our daily classes and practice resources. Since you watched this video, that might mean you're also struggling with graphical questions as well. Click this video to watch me solve them using this trick that will save you lots of time.